guys. <laughs> Nora just woke up from a nap. That's why she's making kind of a grumpy face. <laughs> Today's video is nine things I can't wait to tell my daughter. I actually found this on a blog the other day and I'm going to link it down below so you guys can check it out. What she wrote is pretty much exactly what I would also write or want to say to Nora later on. So, number one, what Susie says about Sally says a lot more about Susie than it does Sally. Girls will be girls. Girls are mean. For some it's a stage, for others it's a lifestyle. You cannot control what they say about you, but you can control how you respond. Silence is the best weapon. From someone who's been there, trust me, no response is the best response. Number two. When you're upset, stay away from your cell phone. Nobody ever says anything nice when they're mad, sad, or hurt. When you wake up in the morning, don't check your phone for a text that probably won't be there. Get out of bed and stay away from the phone. I'm aware that this is much easier said than done, but I've been there and hurtful words won't make the hurtful actions disappear. Breathe in, breathe out, and move on. Number three, you are more than your body. When a boy, oh, oh, when a boy tries to have sex with you, it's not because he thinks you have a really nice personality. He likes what he sees, and that's the only thing on his mind. The attention might make you feel good, but seriously, respect yourself. I don't care if all the other girls are doing it. You won't be. Sleeping around only makes you popular in the locker room. It's not cool, and it doesn't make you any more of a grown-up. It won't gain you friends. In fact, you'll probably lose some. Never give a part of yourself away to someone who doesn't deserve it. You are valuable, and you are more than your body. Boys will say anything, and some of them will make it sound really nice. Be intelligent enough to differentiate between love and lust. If you find yourself questioning their intentions for even a moment, walk away. You are better than that. Number four. I know you're not really sick. You're either avoiding someone at school, avoiding a test at school, or avoiding waking up. I practically wrote the book on excuses to get out of school. You're not fooling me, even though I'm sure you'll put on quite the production trying to convince me otherwise if you're anything like me. It may seem easier to lay around the house for the day and hide from the world, but avoiding what you don't want to face typically just makes it harder. Also, things are never as bad as they seem. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and be thankful for another day. You are blessed. Number five, you will get your heart broken and it will hurt. Boyfriends sound like a lot of fun. Boyfriends sound like a lot more fun than they actually are. Sure, it's fun to have someone to go see the new movie with, someone to pay for your meals, and someone who makes you feel special. You're not going to believe me when I tell you that dating in high school is a waste of time, but I wish that you would. When you find your first love, you will feel on top of the world. Seriously, you will feel like you're floating on clouds. You'll think you found the one. Trust me, I know. I'm begging you to not get caught, get so caught up in him that you forget how to make yourself happy by yourself. Once you venture down the road depending on him for happiness, it's a long way back. Your first love won't be your only love. But the breakup will rock your world. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be sad. It's not okay to feel like you weren't enough. It will take time, and it will may it will it will take time, and it might take a lot of time, but it will get better. Oh, I'm getting emotional. She can't even date. <laughs> ah, okay, number six. When you find your person, don't lo don't lose them. When it comes to your person, just say you're sorry. There's going to be someone who can finish your sentences, tell you the truth <coughs> when you don't want to hear it, and stand by you when you make really stupid decisions. This person... Ah. Ah, hormones. Okay. 
this person is more than your best friend. They are your person. I have my person and I'd be lost without her. We've gone months without talking, more than once, may I add, because mm. we're too alike for our own good. Do not make this mistake. Just say you're sorry. You're going to have other really good friends too. Make sure you let them know how much you appreciate their friendship. They're important to you, but your person will connect with you on a level, on a different level. They will understand you when you don't understand yourself, and you will form a bond that nothing can break. It's possible to find a soulmate in someone other than the person you marry, and it's pretty awesome. Number seven, it's okay to stay home. You aren't lame for choosing your bed over a party on Friday night. There will be other parties, and I promise you that you aren't missing much. It's okay that you want to be alone. It's okay to stay home and watch movies, and it's okay that you're not in the mood to go out. It's okay. Number eight, if they miss you, they'll do something about it. Still hung up on that breakup? It takes time. But mom, I really love him. I'm sure you do. I know that nothing I say will take away the hurt, but my arms will always be wide open and I will keep plenty of Kleenex boxes in stock. I know... <sighs> Candace, stop. Snap out of it. I know what it feels like. I'll make you an ice cream sundae, but I'll understand when you don't have the appetite to eat it. I will tell you this, if he misses you, he will do something about it. Because if he if he's missing you and doing nothing, he's not the one. Even if he finds the courage to say he misses you, it's okay to not want him back. Your heart will heal. Do not settle. Make ah, a million excuses for him. I know. But please remember this. If he wants to be with you, he will prove it. Ah, Nora's probably like, Mom, why are you crying? Okay, number nine. People make mistakes, especially the people you love. I will make mistakes, so will your dad. So will you. So will your brother or sister, so will your friends. You don't have a brother or sister, and you're not going to, but yeah. Your teachers and coaches will make mistakes too. Everyone will make mistakes. You will make them too. Lots and lots, as a matter of fact. Do not stop loving people when they screw up. The people you love and that love you will probably make some of the worst mistakes. Learn to forgive, especially if you expect others to forgive you. Part of growing is making mistakes. Part of loving is forgiving. My dear, the ugliest people are the ones who do not know how to forgive. Don't carry any grudges and always, always be the bigger person. Love, Mom. And that is the nine things that I can't wait to tell my daughter. I mean, I basically just did, but I can't wait to tell her later when she can fully understand and take it in. <sighs> Sorry that I got so emotional, but... Uh, so... Thank you for watching this video and I will see you oh and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye.